Finding the perfect hairstyle that suits you can sometimes feel like a challenging journey. Many people might find themselves wandering through a labyrinth of styles, trends, and personal preferences, unsure of what direction to take. The good news is that you're not alone in this quest. It's essential to begin by consulting a professional hairstylist who can help you assess your face shape, hair texture, and lifestyle. A skilled stylist doesn't just cut hair. They provide valuable insights and personalized recommendations tailored to you. This personalized approach can significantly enhance your chances of discovering a hairstyle that you love and that complements your features, boosting your confidence, and allowing you to express your personality through your hair. Currently, I've noticed a significant trend among my clients who are gravitating towards low-maintenance haircuts. This shift is largely due to economic factors, as many people are facing budget constraints and seeking hairstyles that require less frequent upkeep. Clients are looking for cuts that can grow out gracefully over time, allowing them to stretch their visits to the salon. Most clients are now opting for haircuts that only need to be redone every couple of months instead of every few weeks. This trend is not only practical, but also reflects a broader cultural shift towards simplicity and ease. Many individuals are re-evaluating their priorities, and spending less time on hair maintenance has become a desirable lifestyle choice. Moreover, there has been a noticeable embrace of natural texture among my clients. In the past, many felt compelled to style their hair to fit a certain mold, often relying on heat tools and products to achieve a specific look. However, many individuals are moving away from the daily use of heat tools, opting instead for wash and wear hairstyles that require minimal effort. This trend not only saves time, but also promotes healthier hair in the long run. It's refreshing to see clients embracing their natural waves, curls, and textures, celebrating the uniqueness that each individual possesses. For younger clients, I've observed a revival of styles reminiscent of the 1990s. Think about Leonardo DiCaprio's iconic looks during that era, featuring longer tops that are swept back while maintaining a tidy shape around the neck. These styles exude a laid-back, effortless vibe that resonates with the younger generation's desire for authenticity. On the other hand, older clients, typically professionals in their mid-20s to 40s, are often requesting haircuts that evoke the classic 80s businessman vibe, reminiscent of characters in films like American Psycho. These cuts feature a visible back with a subtle, polished styling that radiates confidence. It's fascinating how trends often cycle back, bringing with them the essence of past decades while incorporating modern twists. If you're in the process of growing out your hair, you may encounter an awkward stage where your hair can feel unruly. Many people dread this phase, as it often feels like you're caught in limbo. However, there are ways to navigate this period smoothly. The awkwardness often stems from a lack of shape or direction, so it's crucial to maintain some semblance of shape through regular trims. If your goal is to grow your hair out, I recommend keeping the sides shorter while allowing the top to grow longer. This approach helps prevent disproportionate lengths that can create an unbalanced appearance. Transitioning from monthly haircuts to every three to four months can help keep things tidy, allowing for a trim only on the edges as needed. During this transitional phase, don't hesitate to explore different styles and lengths. Experimenting can be a fun way to discover what looks best on you. A healthy hair care routine is essential for maintaining vibrant and beautiful hair. Based on my years of experience, I have some top recommendations. Firstly, be mindful that a poor diet can significantly affect the quality of your hair. Hair is made up of protein, and without the right nutrients, you might notice a decline in its strength and shine. Therefore, aim for balanced nutrition that supports healthy hair growth, incorporating plenty of vitamins and minerals into your meals. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon and walnuts, can help promote healthy hair. Additionally, stress can play a crucial role in your hair's health. Many clients experience noticeable changes in their hair during periods of stress, so managing stress effectively is vital. Incorporating mindfulness practices such as meditation, yoga, or even just taking time for yourself can positively impact not only your hair, but also your overall well-being. Contrary to popular belief, blow-drying your hair doesn't damage it as much as people often think. Most hair damage actually comes from excessive heat usage, particularly when blow-drying multiple times a day. If you're in a rush, 
It can be tempting to crank the heat up to speed up the process, but that can lead to unnecessary damage over time. For those with short hair, regular trims can help mitigate this risk, and using a heat protectant can provide an additional layer of defense against potential damage. Heat protectants create a barrier between your hair and the heat, helping to lock in moisture and prevent the cuticle from drying out. As for the no-shampoo trend that has gained popularity in recent years, I've seen varying results among my clients. Some individuals have reported positive changes in their hair after stopping shampoo use altogether, claiming their hair feels more vibrant and less stripped of its natural oils. If you decide to try it, give it at least two weeks to see how your hair responds. Allowing natural oils to build up can benefit some hair types, but make sure to rinse well and brush regularly to avoid any buildup that might lead to discomfort. Don't hesitate to experiment with your hair care routine. Finding what works best for you is key, and you shouldn't be afraid to explore different methods without the fear of damaging your hair. For those with coarse, frizzy, or dry hair, I strongly suggest embracing your natural texture rather than trying to alter it drastically. Curly and frizzy hair can look stunning when styled appropriately. Consider investing in high-quality moisturizing serums and styling creams that help manage frizz while enhancing your natural texture. Sometimes the right product can make all the difference. When styling, remember that a little goes a long way. Start with a small amount and build up as needed. Keep in mind that you can either spend time styling your hair every day or invest money in treatments that simplify your daily routine. Finding a balance that works for you is crucial. Hair masks and deep conditioning treatments can be great investments that pay off in the long run, giving you healthier hair that requires less styling effort. Thinning hair can be a sensitive topic for many people, but there are strategies to make the best of it. Generally, opting for shorter haircuts can help mask thinning areas as seen with actors like Bruce Willis, who have gracefully embraced shorter hairstyles. Shorter cuts can provide the illusion of fullness and make thinning less noticeable. Instead of trying to cover up thinning spots, focus on enhancing other features that draw attention away from those areas. Just like in art, the composition of a haircut can influence where people look. Consider hairstyles that balance out thinning areas while highlighting other parts of your hair, creating a harmonious overall appearance. Also, consider using volumizing products that add body and texture to your hair, helping to create the appearance of more fullness. For those struggling with flat, thin hair, I recommend utilizing a blow dryer as a transformative tool that can elevate your hair beyond just drying it. Blow drying, when done with the right heat and tension, can reshape your hair, adding volume and making it look fuller and more dynamic. Flip your head upside down while blow drying for added lift at the roots. It's essential to remember that good hair doesn't rely solely on products. Learning effective blow drying techniques can lead to significant improvements without heavily relying on styling products. The goal is to smooth out your hair surface, allowing it to reflect more light and appear healthier and more vibrant. In summary, hair care is a multifaceted journey that involves understanding your hair type, embracing your natural beauty, and being willing to experiment with various techniques and products. Your hair tells a story about who you are, so embrace it and let it shine. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I sincerely hope these tips and insights help you on your hair journey. Remember, everyone's hair is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. Stay patient and open-minded as you navigate your hair care routine. For more in-depth discussions and insights, feel free to check out my YouTube channel, where I share a variety of tips and techniques weekly designed to empower and inspire you in your hair care routine. I look forward to connecting with you all and continuing this journey together.